going on guys uh september 18th 2023 uh it's monday and i was doing some pms today and came across the unit that well it was running a little weird and it but it was running and i thought well wow that's a really high amp draw on this thing and i got looking and it's like wow doesn't look like that capacitor has has any capacitance at all. What's going on here? So I got looking a little bit deeper. So take a look. Jeez, <laughs> this wire is pretty degraded. This is my orange. This is my red. This is my yellow. <laughs> That's pretty beat up. Even the blue is degraded. This black one seems to be holding pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to fix that. But just doing a PM on this unit. So it hasn't tripped anything. It hasn't blew a, blew a fuse or anything. So it's not to the point where that's happened. Even though if you look here. Looks like it started to, eh, it's just a rub out on that blue wire. Just just started to rub a little bit, hasn't rubbed through. You guys, we got a pretty beefy capacitor here and I have nothing on it. If I go from common to fan, I have a half a microfarad now. Nobody's called this thing in down, I'm just doing a PM here. We do have start components too. I can't check this start component because it's got a bleed resistor on it. Um, I won't be able to get a reading on it unless I cut that resistor. So I'm gonna put this back on and see if it actually starts. Sometimes if you got a bad run capacitor, but you also have a start capacitor, your system will start and run. I've seen it before. So I'm gonna hook this capacitor back up because like I said, nobody said this thing was down. It's a miracle this, there hasn't been any, any uh, low voltage shorts here. All right, let me get up and back up a little <clears throat> and see what happens yeah see it's starting that is crazy Doing 21 amps this is a 5 ton unit Seven. That is near near rated though. But check this out. We have like no amperage on our start capacitor. One amp there. It's crazy this thing's running. I'm gonna get a new 85 on there. It really only has to be an 80 because they have a separate capacitor for the fan. So let me throw an 80 on there. I wanna see how much difference it makes. Let's check what cap it's supposed to have. Now this compressor was changed last year. can't tell what that says. Go back and look. Yeah, you see, that says 70. Someone stuck an 80 on here. She's supposed to have a 70. Let me grab a 70. I only had a seven by seven and a half. 
so see how this one does. Well, it started, so, well, it started before, too. Whoops. Bop, it's satisfied. <laughs> see, now we actually have a amp draw on our start winding. 9.7. All right, look how much lower our amp draw is now. 14.5, that was 21. Amazing what a good capacitor will do. <laughs> yeah, so pretty wild stuff there. It just goes to show as long as you can get your compressor started, it will run with no, with no run capacitor. Uh, that proves it right there. You know, it gives it a kicking the ass to get it started the start capacitor does and then it stays running you got a high amp draw but at least the compressor is running but we got that old capacitor out of there which wasn't even the right capacitor and uh, we got the right one in and um yeah they're good to go so we breathed life in that old girl <laughs> so uh, good to go there but I did run another call today after a bunch of PMs I did at the chicken plant. So uh, it was a no hot water call on a fairly large ream commercial electric water heater. This thing's massive. Take a look. All right, guys, we have this massive ream water heater here. 100, uh, 120 gallons, 119.9. We installed this, and it's been trouble to say the least first i found all these wires here the lugs that tightened down there were all tightened down on the insulation and not on the actual wire so it wasn't making a connection there um, one of our plumbers came out and found two bad heating elements and now I'm out here again. I have no idea what's going on yet. So let's get the meter out. We'll see what's going on. All right. Three phase water heater. First thing I'm gonna do, see if I got power. All right, I got it there. I got it there. And I got it there. Okay, let's just check this side. Just be on the safe side. There, there. In there okay from there our high voltage goes to here yep yep okay it's all there now let's check these fuses Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, so our contactors are not pulled in, so we're not going to have it there. Let's switch over to tone, and we'll just check our fuses. Okay, so these two are not, I have no tone from these two. Got it there, don't have it there. There, there, and there. Okay, so these two are blown, but my contactor still is not calling. We got a couple of fuses up here too. Let me switch back over to voltage. Okay, so we're coming in here. Should be coming in here. Yep, we got it there. Let's check this side. Okay, we got it there. So our transformer should be powered. Too late, coming. Too late, coming. Okay. 
Okay, I must be testing that in the wrong spot. Okay, so our thermostat breaks high voltage to our transformer. So I'm wondering if our reset button is tripped. We already know we have blown fuses. I'm gonna turn the breaker off first. Let's see where the breaker is here for this water heater. This looks like it here. WH mechanical room. Let's go check. All right, we're dead here. All right, let's see. That clicked. Oh, it clicked again. This heater is not hot. Oh, it's a little hot. It's a little warm. Hold on now. That water's warm. What the heck is going on here? This thing they had no hot water. Maybe they're running out of hot water. I bet you that's the deal. Let me go talk to the kitchen folk. All right. I just ran it for a while. We definitely got a problem here. I mean, it's kind of warm. It's a little warm. But I ran that water for like... Phew, five minutes and it was just like lukewarm so <clears throat> i do believe our thermostat was tripped here our reset button was tripped so we know we're not going to have anything here correct yep because our fuses are blown there so that means we're only going to have amperage here which seems like a whole lot of amps for just a 12 gauge wire Right? So we only have one element working right now. that one that top one yeah that's the only element we have working right now let's turn it back off we'll check those elements all right and the way we're going to do this is we're going to Pull the wires off here and ohm this out. And I set our meter to continuity. Test our probes. Good. And test our element. Let's get our wires out of the way here. See if we have a tone. Okay, we have a tone, so that element is good. All right, next one. Okay, this element is not good. This element is bad. See that? No continuity. Look. This one is bad too. Okay, so our two bottom elements are bad and um, which blew these fuses. No sense in putting new fuses in it because they're just gonna blow again. 
All right, I got some insight on this water heater from one of our plumbers. Um, I think we're trying to get this thing out of here and a different one put in, um, considering we've had so many issues with it. And um, yeah, I, I think we're almost trying to get this thing lemon lawed. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, but apparently we do have new heating elements at the shop for this. So um, possibly come back and put new heating elements in or see where we're at with maybe getting this thing out and a new one in because I am not kidding. We have already put a set of heating elements in this. Um, I've, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, none of these wires were, um, the lugs were landed properly. Um, it's been blowing fuses. It's just been one thing after another with this water heater. And, um, you know, we're just kind of sick of it. It is a ream. ES120-15-G, 120,000, or 120 gallons. Look, manufactured in this year. It's crazy. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens, but can't fix it tonight. I don't have the parts with me, so... There's another no hot water call in this same building, so I'm gonna go up there and take a look at that next. Yeah, so that water heater there, we have done other work to it. We've put elements in it before, and it's only a few months old, and man, that thing has been a pain. And I, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with a manufacturer defect, so I don't know what we're gonna be doing there, if we're gonna be pulling that one out, if we're just gonna be putting new elements in. I mean, if you think about it, there's not a whole lot to it. You have contactors, heating elements, and a transformer, and electricity. I mean, there's not a lot that's going on inside that water heater. So here's the circuit. You have, your electric comes in, it goes through the fuses, and the fuses go to the top of the contactor. And then the thermostat engages once the thermostat calls it completes the circuit to the transformer the transformer tells the contactors to pull in when the thermostat satisfies it kills power to the transformer the contactors open there's not that much involved with this water heater so i don't know what's going on here if it's a power delivery issue if it's just crappy parts coming from Ream, I just don't know. I don't I don't know enough about it. This was only my second time out there. I wasn't the one who put the original heating heating elements in it. What I found originally was the lugs, the main power lugs were tightened down on the insulation of the wires. That's why it wasn't coming on. So but it's mind-boggling how something that have so much problems and it's just a basic electrical circuit a basic heat, uh, heating element circuit you know it's just a larger form of an electric hot water heater you would see in your house the only thing is that it has a transformer to pull in the contactors that's it there's nothing special about it so, bizarre stuff man bizarre stuff but anyway i um i started a tiktok <laughs> i finally did so i've been putting a little bit of videos on there just starting to trying to get that figured out seems like uh, a lot of that stuff should be filmed with the phone up and down <laughs> so I, I have a hard time filming like that I you know because YouTube you want to do sideways and so I don't know I, I've been trying to you know cut it I've cut a few of my videos down to just a couple minutes long and posted over there so check me out over there uh, Jeff's H Act Adventures over there so um, just trying something trying to start out get something rolling over there trying to funnel <laughs> that crowd over here to youtube so we'll see how that works out but, but anyway that's going to be it for this one guys so if you haven't done so already give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and yeah i should have a full week planned so we should have some good content this week so stay tuned i'll catch you on the next one